Good morning and welcome to another fun Friday Family Arts and Crafts here at the Midland County Public Library. So today what we will be making are some 3D bubble wands. It's going to be a very simple, quick and easy tutorial. Um, so this craft activity in particular introduces like a steam, um, a steam subject. So we will be introducing tinsel structures. So tinsel structures are um, structures that are formed when there's a material or a cable suspended amongst different anchors. So an example may be a ship sail or a tent. Have you ever built a fort and you had to use fabrics and stuff and hung them on your chairs to kind of give you that shelter effect. So that would be um, what we're introducing today. So I'm going to actually go ahead and dip this for you. I have my bubble solution before we get into how to make it to give you an idea of what a tensile structure may look like. Can you get close there? So you see the bubbles in there? And so if you look closely, it forms its own shapes in there, but the bubble solution acts as if it's the tensile structure. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And before we get started, I'm gonna let you know what we need. So you're going to need a couple of straws, some pipe cleaners, of course, your bubble solution. I would suggest you get like a tall um, Tupperware container and some scissors. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna cut the sides and we're gonna do, we're gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the pyramid tetrahedron um, bubble wand here. So you're gonna get your straws and you want to cut your straws in fourths. So just for demonstration purposes, I already have some of my straws cut out. So you're gonna cut right down the middle. And if you have a ruler, um, you may wanna use that. So you get two cuts on one straw, about fourths. And so for the um, pyramid, you're actually gonna need six of these. So you're gonna to have to cut another straw for that. So I have my pieces here. And so then you grab your pipe cleaner. You want to curl one of the ends so the straw doesn't fall off, of course. You're gonna thread your straw through. Give me one second here. And of course, a triangle has three sides, so you have your three straws thread it on your pipe cleaner, and you're going to bend, create your triangle, wrap around your pipe cleaner, and this is one side to your pyramid. So just using the excess pipe cleaner, you're gonna thread two more straws, because of course, when you connect it, you're already gonna have that other side there. Make another triangle, connect, and wrap. Very simple. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. And that extra side is gonna go across the bottom here. So this is, you're gonna use this excess part. This is gonna be a part of your stem to your bubble wand. So I'm gonna grab another pipe cleaner gonna wrap that pipe cleaner around one of the sides here like so grab one extra straw and wrap and actually since this is the longer side I'm gonna keep this side as my stem and I'm gonna cut this other excess pipe cleaner right here be careful if you have any scissors, you might want to get a parent or someone to kind of help you with that. So there we go. So I'm going to also grab another pipe cleaner because I want my stem to be a little bit more sturdy than um, just one pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to wrap the other pipe cleaner around and just twist, twist, twist. make it as long as you like. I just think the, a little bit longer, maybe about 
five inches, five or six inches up. And then you're gonna make your finger loop. Actually, let's do this. Let's cut another one of the pipe cleaners off. Then we make your loop. Cut again. Get that extra little piece here and wrap. And there you have it. You have your bubble wand. So let's do a test. Let's try it out here. Are we still? Okay, we're good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once you got your Tupperware filled with your bubble solution, and I prefer to use actual bubble solution because the one that I made, it just, just didn't work quite as well as I thought it would. But try it out. Let me know how it works for you. So you dip it there, and just because we are inside, I am going to just blow it. It works. <laughs> I'm just going to keep trying here. Just like any project, any STEM, STEAM activity, it just doesn't come out and work exactly as planned, but it does. Well, we're going to try the one that I originally made. There we go. And I might have just been blowing too hard. And you know what? For the heck of it, I'm just going to go ahead and wave my, my bubble wand for you guys. So there you have it. So you have your bubble wand. And I hope you enjoyed today's fun Friday activity. Make sure to tune in next week. Um, and we do have the Wizard of Oz exhibit opening on Tuesday. So make sure to check that out here at Centennial Library. Bye-bye.